Hi parents of Scorpio children, welcome uh, and thank you so much for tuning in to Parental Guidance, the first and only show on YouTube dedicated to providing monthly insights on how you can better connect with your child. Yay! Um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm more so just excited for this connection and this show and for every month that you guys tune in to watch. Uh, it just means a lot to me, just a testament that this is, it's like we're almost going on a year now. So thank you so much for your dedication. For February, your um, Scorpio child has the fox in reverse. Um, this is what it looks in the upright. It's, you know, cunning and they are, you know, just, they're looking, they're perceiving, they're, what's their next move? And it's like, things are distorted. Like they may not be able to see clearly and, um, it, it normally speaks of cunning, sexuality, creativity. I'll give you a moment to read that. So go ahead and pause it. And then um, <clears throat> their, their vibration is that they have the brilliance card in reverse. So in the upright, it's a very pretty, beautiful card, very bright. It speaks of discovering their sparkle. And the fact that it's in reverse, um, it makes me feel that perhaps that that confidence that sparkle is lacking or um you know it it says it talks about being bringing forth change and transformation wiping this the slate clean and starting anew and i really just get the sense that there's a dullness obviously you know there's just something like there's no it's a lack of clarity a lack of moving forward a lack of progression just something is at a standstill a stagnation almost um, and that's okay. It's just where they are right now. And that's, that's fine because something is definitely in process and in the works. They have the molybdenite card as their challenge. And this is a message from the stars. So their challenge is possibly receiving that message from the stars, being open to be re like receptive to it, take it on, receive it for what it is because their mood is they have the courage card in reverse. So, Normally it speaks of, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And the fact that it's in the reverse, it's either A, they, they don't need courage, either like they, they got it figured out right now, or they're having, they're like in denial. Like, I really don't want to have courage right now. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to have the courage. It's almost like rejection of the, like the, the invitation to have courage. So it's not so much like they're cowering. But it's like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to do that right now. I don't, I don't really, I'm not feeling it. So it, I just see it more so as a rejection to being, to moving forward, to, to have that boldness. It very well could mean like that there's some kind of cowering, but even still when there's courage, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, a reason why we, we draw back and we say, no, I don't want to do that. Or no, I'm not feeling, you know, the need to be courageous. So it's. It's a, like a, a resistance or a stepping away from it. But then it's in conflict because their goal is, no, you need to step out. You need to be brave. Whatever is going on, you need to like kind of get your head out of it and move forward. So their goal is to walk in that bravery, um, you know, and to not be silent, but just to speak up, even if it is hard. So during the, the first week of uh, February, they have the new life card. And this is great because it speaks of like um, just new ideas, ingenuity, just something new happening and, and coming upon them. A breath of fresh air, um, just new opportunities, things of that nature. So it's like a breath of fresh air, just oh, starting anew. What was in the past is in the past. This is a new thing. And that's a great way to start the month off. A new opportunity. Um, in the second week, they have the chopped wood card. So it's like taking something on with a level of humility. Um, you know, just moment by moment, like getting more grounded. And it's almost like it's a, it's a uh, progression. And it's also like working through whatever resistance to or working through whatever dullness they they are experiencing right now whatever like desire to not be courageous 
that's what they're having to do is just like, okay, I'm going to be humble. I'm going to be grounded. I'm going to work through this. This this process is necessary. I'm going to go with the flow. And then in the, in the third week of them, you know, doing all of this, this inner like trudging away, they have the not for you card where they understand that, you know, something that that's a rejection is just a divine setup. Like it's not for you. You know, it's, it's not you. It's just something that does not serve your highest good. And there could be something that comes their way where it's just like either this card is the awareness that something in their past is not for them or something comes up this week that is not for them. And then in the final week um, of February, there's something dealing with um, just observing, just look, uh, getting a bigger perspective or a, um, how do I want to say? Just observing from afar, like just taking stock, looking around them from a distance, like just like observing and, and taking it in from afar. So this is like their overall like mindset for the month. With that being said, this is some of the things that they'll experience. So in the first week, something new, a, a new start, having to put the, the nose to the grindstone and do the work to have a level of humility, um, the realization or the acceptance that something is not for them. And then just taking a, a backseat and observing, just, you know, having a better perspective of, from a, a, a pers perspective of the bigger picture, See, seeing an overview. Um, what's changing for them is memories. Maybe it's memories of the past that they are, um, they're, they're learning to accept the good memories, let go of the bad memories, um, focusing on memories or, you know, there's, there's maybe there's a change in the perspective of how they see their memories, or um, it could be just new memories coming in, but there's a change with memories. There's a change of thoughts from the past, what, however that shows up for them. And the solution is just to have a, a bigger energy, a, a greater perspective, that there's something more bigger, you know, there's something bigger going on around them. There's something more um, than just this particular moment, just to have a, a, a larger perspective and overview. And it says the earth is going through a transition of energy and your sensitive body is feeling it. You're not alone, except the help of others. Um, and that very well could be it as well. Um, as far as how you can help your child, you have the gift card in reverse. So perhaps you are in the position where instead of you giving a gift to them, that you were, you will be in a place of um, receiving um, and just being open to the awareness of what transactions may transpire with your child. Grace is a gift from God. We don't need to work hard to earn it. Feel worthy enough to deserve it or surrender our needs to receive it. The gift of grace is our birthright. So I just, it could be like a reversal of roles. Um, so I hope that that makes sense because I, I'm sure it does. But for me, it, it usually feels jumbled. So just, you know, I feel the need to reiterate. Um, but just keep in mind that their energy just may feel like a little a little off, a little clouded, a little dull. Um, you know, just something is dull. There's a message from the stars. It's all in process of them moving forward. Um, there's either courage that either they don't need courage or there's courage that's in denial. Um, not wanting to accept that they have to be courageous. Um, but ultimately, it's them being brave and moving forward, taking the next step with whatever this is. There's new life coming in, um, a, a new situation, a new opportunity to probably think differently about something, processing that information and working it in to be humble, realizing that something is not for them, taking, you know, having a bigger perspective, a, a bigger, a newer picture of something. Um, memories in the past are changing. So it's just like their perspective of their memories, having a, a different mindset on what's happened in the past, you know, realizing that this is a time for healing for them, um, that there's other things going on, that this, um, that they play a bigger part and a bigger role of what's happening in the world, um, that there's an exchange of you giving, you, you receiving, um, and vice versa. 
you know, so your child is receiving from you and also giving to you, but there's like this exchange of gift. I don't, I don't feel like anybody's holding on to something. Like, I don't think anybody is resistance to giving. I just think that the, the, the roles are reversed. Um, so when it comes for you, um, you have the tranquility and peace card in reverse. And I just get that whatever it is that there's some unsettling inside of you, like some, something is not settled within you and you want to be nurtured and you want peace, but that's just not what you're going to get, or this is not what you're getting this month. And so there's a sense of restlessness because you do desire this peace, but it's, it's just like that. You're upset. It's frustrated. I'm not going to get it. Um, And then you have the I am kind card in reverse. And I will give you a moment to read that in its entire, entirety. Just go ahead and pause it. And the fact that it's in reverse, it's, it's possibly asking you to be kind, but you don't want to be kind. Or, you know, you're just not in a mood to be kind this month. Like, and, and it's like you're unloading or it's, it's, it's a frustration or it's like, how can I be kind to others when I first need to be kind to myself? Or how can I worry about what other people need when I need stuff, when what I need isn't being met? So it's, it's definitely, this is a good thing where it could mean like a, an internal restlessness, but just like your child something new and something good and something beneficial is on the horizon. So even though this is unsettling energy, it's not negative. It's not bad. It's just unrest. So I hope that that message resonates with you on, on some level. I hope that that provided a level of clarity and balance for you. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I greatly appreciate that. And we will see you again next month. Take care.